Welcome back to a new amazing and fantastic After Effects tutorial. Today I will show you what I believe are the 5 best free plugins and a bunch of other functions that you should use in your next project. So let's jump right in. The first plugin is called Effects Console. This plugin allows us to have an on-screen toolbar that we can open with Ctrl and Space keys. When we apply an effect to a layer, we can control the parameters normally from the dedicated effects control panel. Additionally, we can take screenshots of our work and set favorite effects to keep handy. This tool, once the layer is selected and the tab is open, access effects directly and quickly by simply searching through text. This plugin actually sped up my workflow and I bet will do the same for you. The second one is the biggest we'll see today. It's called Animation Composer. It is a set of functions and presets that are very useful for obtaining fast and functional animations. This plugin has many features, but we will come back to them later. Select the layer and open the plugin window, scroll to the preset that you want to use and choose the type of animation. In the top right corner you can see the animation preview and you will be able to choose whether to apply it. In, out, both. This allows us to decide whether to apply the animation at a single point or at the beginning and end of the layer on the timeline. If we want to make the animation longer or shorter, we can drag the transition marker to the right or left. Each animation and preset has its own values that can be modified. We select the layer we want to edit, go to the edit section of the plugin and change the parameters as we wish. Each preset will have specific ones. These tools are included within Animation Composer, and believe me, they are literally lifesavers. In fact, we no longer need to worry about manually moving the anchor points of the layers. Just select the layer, open the tool inside the plugin, and click the arrows to indicate which corner to move the anchor point to. The second tool is called Keyframe Wingman and concerns animation movements and curves. A good curve can make our work look beautiful or terrible, so believe me when I say it is crucial. When we have keyframes as shown, whether they are movements or just value modifications, we select them and access the keyframe wingman tool. By dragging these handles to the right and left, we directly modify the keyframe curve. We can decide to keep them linked or not, and also to enter numerical values manually. This type of tool will save you time and effort, making your animations smooth and pleasant. I recommend experimenting with different values to understand what types of movements can be created just by adjusting these handles. Rift is a plugin that deals with the displacement of layers or keyframes in the timeline. It helps us when we are dealing with many layers and want different elements to move rhythmically, but not all in the same way. For example, here we have four texts that move in the same way. Thanks to Rift, with one click we can displace them making the animation much more interesting. You can even enter the exact number of keyframes to move the layers as desired and precisely adjust the overall movement in the composition. There are so many parameters that I would need to make a video just for this plugin, but you can really do everything. Align keyframes, move them, invert them, plus everything else you can imagine. A possible use case, for example, is the animation of a bullet point list. Imagine all the layers animating one after the other in a coordinated manner, and all this being done with just one click in the plugin. Text Border is a specific plugin that adds a border to text. The incredible thing is that besides adding a line, it is completely customizable regarding scale, position, roundness, plus other values that make the border a beautiful new animated element to add to projects. Once added to the desired text layer, we can modify the parameters like any other normal effects. Creating a border like this manually is always difficult, especially when everything needs to move precisely. With this plugin, everything happens automatically. 
The possible combinations with all the parameters are truly numerous, but I assure you that you can achieve amazing results in very little time. Additionally, the text will always remain editable and the border will adjust accordingly. I hope I have introduced you to something useful. Thanks for watching the video, subscribe for more content and see you next time. Bye!